Do you find it easier to write from a place of, of misery? Because I'm, I'm just thinking about Adele, because there's all these rumours, I, mean, I don't know if it's true, that she's struggling with her third album, because actually her life is all kind of happy now, and her <laughs> first two albums were can... from heartache. I do find it easier to write from heartache, because you're in such a space that, you know, it's like wallowing. So for me, it was easier just to kind of write about it. But I even had next time, you know, I'll leave you again so that you can write better songs. <laughs> <laughs> he said How that. How thoughtful of him. Yeah, yeah, well, he was. wasn't that thoughtful, but we won't go there. Do you, ever, do you ever look at other people's music and go, oh, I wish I'd written that really I'm envious sensible. all the time. You know, people like Amy Winehouse, people like Adele, so many great writers out there, and I've written songs, but when I look at them, I... I get my hate on. I'm like, maybe I should be more sad, or maybe, you know, because they're such great songs and it's all about the angst and the pain and the yeah. sorrow. But, boy, does it sell. You know, we, don't want, we don't want you to be sad. Look at Neil Diamond, one of the best writers of our generation, yeah. and most of his songs are yeah. from the gut.